Hi, my name is Tan Dong. Yun Dong Lee. We will talk about biochip. When people age, one of the things they fear of is a cancer. From 2008 to 2012, the number of sufferers from cancer in Korea is about 940,000. No one can guarantee that they won't be one of them. Insurance companies recommend you to join an insurance, but an insurance can increase the percentage of a survival rate. Then how can we increase the percentage of a survival rate? The answer is an early detection. If a cancer is early detected, a uh, survival rate is over 90%. To detect a cancer, we can analyze DNA because cancers such as colorectal cancer and stomach cancer is known to outbreak due to genomic abnormality. Then let me introduce you the easy and fast way to analyze your DNA. This way to detect is called biochip, of which point is nanotechnology. What is biochip? Biochip is a microchip on which biomolecular such as DNA and protein is combined. It can perform hundreds or thousands of simultaneous bio biochemical reactions. In a word, by analyzing DNA and protein, it can diagnose diseases. Biochip was pr first proposed in 1981 by McLear, but it was just a presentation. To make it really work, a fusion of bioengineering and electronic engineering was needed. This was made possible in the late 90s after a development of nanotechnology. By using nanotechnology and micro arrangement of biomolecular, arranging biomolecular in a small chip, and the analysis of them was realized, which means an invention of biochip. The main technology of biochip is a technology to analyze very small amount of DNA sample and a technology to find out which one is reacted. First one is called PCR, of which process is duplicating a part of DNA to amplify it. Second one is attaching the fluorescent tags on DNA to observe optically. After the development of those technologies, biochip became a reality. And how it really work? There are many kinds of biochips such as DNA chip, protein chip, and regular chip. On DNA chip, hundreds and thousands of DNA is attached in high density. Before talking about the principles of DNA chip, let's make clear how DNA works. There are four kinds of nucleobase, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and timine. In the DNA double helix, each type of nucleobase on one strand bond with just one type of nucleobase on the other strand. This is called complementary base pairing. DNA chip utilizes this. But there is a lot of DNA to arrange to analyze this information. DNA which arranged on chip is called probe. We synthesize it one by one using probe lithography. When we manufacture the probe made of a nuclear base, because there is four kinds of nuclear base, we need about 65,000 probe. And we can arrange them on chip using nanotechnology. We use DNA in form of cDNA. Before we talk about it, I will ask you one thing. Why do we try, try to read DNA arrangement? Yes, it's because it has a genetic information. Why do we have to know that information? Let's think someone is conspired a crime. He wrote it plan on the paper and he performed when he performed it plan the, the plan, big disaster happens. So before he take action, we have to find the paper and figure out his whole plan. Genetic information is the plan on the paper. But not every information is revealed. Then we don't have to read whole information. DNA changed to cDNA through mRNA. And this cDNA has information only needed to revelation. So we have DNA chip and cDNA. If you analyze it, the combined part is marked with fluorescent material. We analyze it using computer and find out whether you have disease or not. Protein chip is a kind of biochip. DNA chip is complementary based pairing of nuclear base. Similarly, protein chip is a reaction between antigen and antibody. When we consider the most phenomenal of life happening in protein level, protein chip has a higher activity value than DNA chip. But unlike DNA, it is difficult to secure a needed protein such as enzyme, antibody, and acceptor because it is easily generated and broken. So it is true that protein requires far more development. 
Recently, scientists are trying to synthesize has good individuality and congeniality artificially and use EDM proteins instead of antibodies. Biochip receptor cure and medicine for each individual by analyzed DNA arrangements. So it can realize medicine which have high treatment effect and reaction. Also, it can combine with information technology, use our genetic information in many fields. And it can be used for terminal unit everywhere, every time. Biochip doesn't look real yet, but in the foreseeable future, it will become possible to diagnose at your home. To introduce an interesting invention, invented by Joy Soto, who is a cancer engineer, extract blood by simple metal and put in her container, which plays a role for of biochip. Placing a smartphone on the whole container, a smartphone takes a picture of reaction which happened in our container. Then it analyzes this reaction by using online database, finally figuring out which disease a patient has. This process takes only an hour, so is it worth to take an hour to diagnose a cancer?